So I'm on my way to Lagavulin to meet with distillery manager Georgie Crawford and warehouseman Ian MacArthur to share a taste of the wonderful Lagavulin. So Georgie, we find ourselves in the car here. You're obviously taking me off site, so what have you got planned for me? Well, we've got a bit of a surprise. I don't really want to uh, let out the bag and, and spoil that, but um, we're going to head off now in the car, so if you just follow my directions, um, I think you'll quite like what we're about to do next. Fantastic. So while we're driving off, but uh, obviously you're a local girl back on the island now, so you must be delighted to be back on the island. But your story to get here is quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, um... A few years ago, um, I got the job as the brand home manager at Talscore Distillery, which I was really excited about. Um, Skies and Island I've been to before and uh, really enjoyed, and so the opportunity to go up and live there was excellent. But obviously to, to be a part of Talscore as well was um, really phenomenal. So whiskey I was always a big fan of um, as a whiskey drinker myself, and um, you know the brand was really growing at the time, so it was a really exciting time to be there. Um, and eventually I got the phone call asking if I would uh, be interested in coming back to Lagerville and which, you know, for me is the, the top of the tree when it comes to, to my um, career um, and, you know, to the, to the work that I want to do. So um, over the moon to be back home, you know, where I've still got family here um, and to be a part of this great sort of team and community that's here at Lagavulin. Just got a wee bit further up. If you look in the distance there, you, uh, you might be able to see someone you recognise <laughs> and uh, he's got a bit of a surprise for you. Ian, good to see you again. Good to see you, Dorot. So uh, Ian's going to show you how to cut peat, which is obviously an integral part of the character of Lagavulin. OK, Donald, I'm going to show you how to cut peat. So know where you come from, Donald. There's nothing but sand. We don't, you don't have much peat here. Are you ready then? And we'll just cut now. You'll see the fibre there is in this top peat. Just... You better stick to farming, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> he told me you knew how to do it. Here you are. So, Ian, what do you think? I think we better go and have a dram. Hope you're better at tasting. So, George, yeah, I obviously don't have a career ahead of me as a peat cutter, no. but... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully we've got some good whiskies to taste for me. Yeah, so, well, we've got two of our Lagavillains here. We've got Lagavillain 16-year-old, our classic, okay. and then we've got the Distillers Edition. So we're going to have a wee taste of these two here. First of all, we're going to try the 16, which is obviously the most recognisable of our Lagavillains. I'll just put a wee splash in these glasses here for us. And what we're expecting is you just get up to your nose start to think about the first aromas that are coming out of that glass there. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to be expecting to uh, get that peat, but what we're also going to get is this lovely sweetness coming out as well. Maybe some of the cereal notes coming out. There is behind that a lovely kind of biscuity malt maltiness to yeah, it as well. Yeah, it's you really smell of that malt that we're using. And then get your nose in, get into the heart of that there. You're going to start to get that earthiness, that smoky, peaty aroma coming out inside there and that really is the essence of Lagavulin, it's in the heart um, of the whole range that, that we make here. Of course we're going to taste it now. And you should get that lovely warmth, that lovely smoke all the way through the palate. So as it rolls over the front of your tongue, you're getting that lovely sweetness first, then you get that lovely yeah. burst of smoke in the yeah, back of your get mouth. that lovely sweetness coming from the wood that you used in the maturation, and then that burst of smoke coming out. Of course, when you're tasting whiskey, you know, you can use water as well. Here in Isle, obviously, we just put the glass out the window and uh, get that natural <laughs> rainwater um, inside there. But that's really the classic Lagavulin that we have. Obviously, we have another one here. We've got the Distiller's Edition, and um, I'll just pour us up one of those as well. The difference with this is it starts out like the Lagavulin 16-year-old where we've used the American oak casks that we talked about before and then we do that second maturation in the Pedro Jimenez casks and we should get something quite different in this one. Straight away, yeah. If you look at the colour, you're going to see this sort of slightly deeper colour in there from the European oak casks. Well, straight away in the nose, I mean, it still has that lovely smokiness you expect from Lagavulin but behind it there's much more intensity of flavour, a lot slightly more dried fruits. 
yeah, it's a much bigger, richer flavour of the fruits in there. And as you say, like dried fruits, so you're going to get that sort of um, sultanas and raisins. But I think the depth of the wood starts to come through, and you might get like a bit of star anise or um, like an aniseedy woody character coming through there from that European oak. And again, you should expect to, to feel that as well when you have a wee taste of this. And again, that richness there. And it's really balancing out with the smoke now, which again is coming out later on um, on the palate. There's also like a small citric hit to it as well. It yeah. brings out a little bit more vibrancy. Yeah, I think I quite often get sort of like a marmalade or sort of orange um, or dried orange sort okay. of um, flavour inside there as well. So you're starting to get that out. And maybe add just a little bit of that saltiness that you'd expect as well there in the background of it. A really nice, big, rich um, biscuit that we've got here. Well, Georgie, thank you so much for this. Uh, being able to share a taste of Lagavulin in such a brilliant location is absolutely excellent. Thank yeah, you so it's much. Just uh, breathtaking, like the, the whisk itself. What a great day I've had here at Lagavulin with both Georgie and Ian. Being able to share a taste of both the distiller's edition and the 16 year old. Although I doubt very much Ian will be inviting me back anytime soon to help cut Pete. So from the pier here at Lagavulin, I'm carrying on with my journey. I hope you can join me. Please feel free to leave your comments in the space below, we'd love to hear from you.